What's up guys, today we're over here at Aquascape and we're gonna see one of the largest pond installs we've ever seen in the indoor studio standbox. So Brian, I invited you here and you've been busy plowing and everything else. So I want to get your reaction when you see the sandbox studio for the first time. Well, I've been seeing it on Instagram. For any of you guys that don't know the Aquascape story, these guys built, they built a house yeah. in their warehouse. Okay, the side so of a home. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so this is Chris Suey, Nature's Recreations hey, out of St. Nice Louis. Job, we built a facade of a home. Wow. to make it look like a backyard and then Chris is number seven of seven certified aquascape artists there you that go. are here and so Chris started on Monday with a sandbox and today's Wednesday and uh, we are 24 hours away from being done. Dude, awesome man. Well walk us through. What do you got? This is pretty sweet. I mean, Greg, so you gotta give these guys some context too. We're building seven different weeks or eight different weeks in a row here. So so Chris is number seven of seven. Yeah. Maybe we saved the best for last. We'll actually put go. links to the, all the other videos Absolutely. in there. So as, what was it, 2012? You were sort of an artist's contract career? Yeah, 2012. Oh, I was right. the artist of the year. Yeah. Artist of the year. Yeah. And uh, so I invited, to pivot from coronavirus, yep. I invited all of the Aquascape artists of the year. We couldn't get the guy from Australia because of COVID. We couldn't get the guy from Canada. Uh, so we only have seven of the nine guys that are doing us, it. Yeah, yeah, we're stuck yeah, with yeah. them. And uh, <laughs> instead go. of doing my training that Brian went to, which we should put a link to that too. Yeah, yeah. old videos from three years ago, two yeah. years ago. Because he came to the Aquascape Academy. Yep. Uh, we now are doing this for digital content for Team Aquascape for Ed the Pond Professor, for Greg Witzak the Pond Guy, and for Aquascape Ponds. Yeah. What's the Aquascape story? Well, the Aquascape story is I had turtles, and I uh, I needed a place to keep them, so I built a pond for them when I was a 12-year-old kid. Yep. And uh, that pond leaked, turned green, and even my prize turtles migrated away, and that was the beginning of my odyssey because that became my classroom. Sure. And every summer I would go out there as a kid and rebuild the pond, and eventually it started looking pretty nice, and uh, the filters that I MacGyvered up out of uh, garbage cans and cattle troughs became the predecessors to what I eventually formed a patent on, started manufacturing, and other guys would hire the pond guy to build their ponds, their landscapers, and they wanted to buy my products, and that's when I started reselling. In uh, My business started in 1991, so this is year 30. Wow. And, my, and I started reselling in 1995 to other contractors, and then the third part came with the training and education because people didn't hadn't been living in the pond since they were 12 year old kids. Sure. And so this is part of the training education with YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, the Aquascape University online. So we just basically teach people how to be successful with water features. Yeah. And uh, for me, this is still my hobby. It's still my passion. I get to travel around with my vlogs, Greg with Suck the Pond Guy, living the Aquascape lifestyle, and uh, basically inspire people to put water features in their properties. Chris and Brian are yeah. my, my, two, my two guys that are doing most of the training. Yeah, yeah. those guys are great. Yeah. They're like, hey, do you want to go learn about marketing? HR, accounting. I'm like, no, dude. I want to just get dirty. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a longer guy. Speaking of getting dirty, tomorrow you're gonna help finish this. So you're gonna be getting dirty. This actor does not get dirty, Greg. <laughs> Quick little update. We got the man of the hour, Chris. What's up, bud? How you doing? Hey, we just met. Yeah. And uh, I'm just loving what you guys are doing here. I appreciate that, man. And this is fun. Where, so what's your quick story? Uh, you're from St. Louis, Missouri? St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised. We uh, started off cutting grass. Um, so I'll do this way. I was 10 years old and uh, cutting grass in my parents' neighborhood. It turned into a full-fledged business. The whole neighborhood wanted me to do it. Yeah. I went into um, a local community college, studied horticulture, got my degree in um, 
horticulture and specialized in landscape design. Okay. And after I got out of college, we were doing a little bit of everything, still cutting and maintaining and landscaping. And then I started getting these mailings from Greg um, with Aquascape and ended up going to my first pandemonium back in 03. And well, my first build a pond day with Chris Wilson and Brian Helfrich. Yeah. They hooked me. I went to Pondemonium up here in Chicago in 03, and we've been doing this ever since. Our goal was to start um, doing nothing but water features. We got into it, yeah. and our goal was always just to be the best, not the biggest. Quick question, elephant in the room. This whole setup, I'm a mow and blow guy, right? Yeah. This whole landscaping done right. So you know what I'm gonna ask, what do you think? If this was like legit, real big eight, 10 ton boulders here, Yeah. probably 250. Two fifty. Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar outdoor living space, backyard patio. What would you call this? Like an outdoor Yeah, an outdoor living space. You know, water <laughs> feature. We got two water features. We got uh You know I charge thirty seven dollars a weekly cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little more equipment and time involved in something like this. Yeah. But. Well, these guys know I'm a big fan of uh, hardscaping, landscaping, uh, outdoor living spaces. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I are going to be building a home this next year. Right and when it's done, I can't wait to do, maybe not something as dramatic as this, sure. but I can't wait to have an outdoor living space. Because even as a mow and blow guy and a you know, lawn maintenance guy, we work hard, we come home, we're tired. Sure. And I can't wait to just maybe have that pool, that outdoor landscaping, and just relax. Yeah. Just, just chill out at the end of the day. Maybe have the kids, you know, jumping up and down in your lap and hanging out. And uh, to me, that's that's living the dream. Sure. You know, so for us, that's the exact same thing. We always just include a water feature, and that is the uh, relaxation yeah. motif that we always try to instill in our clients. It's more of a lifestyle than just you know a water feature. We we bring all this to life. Everything else around it, though, is equally as important. Amen. Amen. Well, I like it. You guys are doing a great job. I'll let you get back to work. He's sweating. I'm over here just filming <laughs> and uh, drinking a Coke. And as you guys know, I'm the actor, right? So, <laughs> but uh, hey, thanks for the time. Awesome. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks. What's up, bud? So day hey. two, day two? Yeah, well, no, this is day four. Well, day four for you guys, yeah. that's, that's day, true. Yeah, day two for you, and this is the jigsaw puzzle. So we got Ed, the pond professor, yeah. over here helping, and uh, we're basically putting the rocks together. So Chris is doing a lot of measurements. Now remember, this is trigonometry. This is an advanced waterfall. I mean, we're gonna have a good eight foot waterfall in here. You can actually see right down here, this is the waterfall diffusers. All right. And that's going to go. We got two of them going up there. Chris, how much water are we pushing through this? Eight, oh, 9,000. 9,000 gallons per hour are going to be flowing down off an eight foot high waterfall. Wow. So you see, this is the jigsaw puzzle, just making sure all the pieces fit. That's what they're working on right now. Okay. And then over here, I'll kind of show you over here. This is more typical. So this, this would be trigonometry. This would be more geometry. So that's advanced college level stuff. This is uh, more. Uh, I'd say high school level over here, although it's terrific work. So this is a small waterfall and stream. This is what you would typically find in a backyard. Yep. Two foot elevation change. We just have a standard biofalls that we put in up here on the top. And then how you add your stumps and your rock work to it. So the goal of building a waterfalls is to make it look like the water came out, eroded away the soil and exposed the stone. You don't stack rock up on top of each other. You dig the rocks into and then position them. And the thing about what's nice is with the expandable foam, okay, the polyurethane expandable foam, if you don't like it, it doesn't look good, doesn't have the right sound, you could rip it out. Yeah. 30 minutes later, have it foamed up and rebuild it again and have a whole different look by just twisting a rock a certain way. We never use mortar or cement. We're always using expandable foam with our foam guns. There you go. Sounds good. In fact, good. here, you want to see what it feels like? Here, hold your hand out. Brian, I can't do it to you. You're too nice of a guy, but you're, they would come off in about uh, uh, three or four weeks. Oh. <laughs> what, what See, he almost went for it, Jack. What, what do I See, know? that's how Jack got started. Oh no, Jack, what happened? Everybody, everybody happened. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs>
All right, so fast forward, we are now at the end of the whole project here, and we're gonna give you guys a quick little walkthrough from this amazing build. So Chris, yes. what do you think, bud? I'm ready to enjoy it. This thing is <laughs> awesome, dude. Let's do a quick walkthrough. Uh, this is the final project and the final week, man. So congratulations, and yeah. everybody's telling me you got the best install so far. Uh, that's just because they're happy to be done. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, bud. All right, so uh, where do you want to start? Over here? Yeah, so let, let me take you through my concept. When I designed this, first of all, the only thing I had to work off of was a picture from one of these upper floors yep. on, the, on the full house facade. Okay. And some rough dimensions of where things were. The way I like to design is being in the space and kind of getting a feel for it. So it was a little challenging. So immediately I saw this and the man cave she shed over there and I said, I want to make two separate spaces. Okay. So when I walk through this door coming out hypothetically to the back of the house, I wanted to have water right in your face, right off the back of this deck so that you can sit, enjoy, chill. I wanted to create a very interactive space on this side where we have a crossing over the stream, some steppers and flagstones, but I love this negative edge sunken patio. This is awesome. So the concept was, let's create a bunch of little spaces to make the area feel bigger. So we did this negative edge waterfall with a, pot, a, a little uh, seating area and a fire pit to look and enjoy this vantage point. Still close enough that you could probably have a conversation up there, but what I really wanted was a totally separate entertaining space that you could get away and have a little bit more of an intimate setting so that you feel like you can have yeah. a nice conversation with some friends. It's sunken in, it's uh, exclusive, it's, yeah. pr it's private. The other thing is, with this two-story house, we had the opportunity to really make this feel like it was sunk in the ground. So I wanted to separate these two spaces with a big mountain range. So we're sitting down in this three and a half, four foot sunken area. Behind us, we've got like a 12 foot 25 foot up to the top of the ceiling with the trees mountain so wow. it feels like you're down in this nice crevice and cavity down here and just for some context how big is this whole lot if we haven't said it before this entire space is only 30 feet wide 40 feet deep wow. which if you really were in this space, you would never believe that. No, it literally feels like some outdoor patio. It feels like a half an acre. Yeah, so we got the exclusive so fire pit down here. The sunken patio has two ways to get down and up. Off the deck, you step down. The other way, you step up. And this brings you up to deck level and pond level, where we've got another little seating area, just one little stump where somebody could sit, hang out. That's what I call my fish feeding rock. Oh, there you go. Then you could cross over the stream, which I kind of wanted to replicate like a very natural bedrock shelf where the water just rolls through it. So you yep. can step over there. And then this was the key to tying these spaces together. Right here is what I call my mountain pass. So I literally choked everything down on both sides. Mm -hmm. And the only view that you have from either side when you're on the opposite is this little window right through this pass up these steps so that you can come up and see what's going on because you see just enough to pique your interest and draw you through the space. Absolutely awesome. And this shed, by the way, is just so beautiful back here. It's and killer. So this is the vantage point from the house. I love, like you said, how it came together and it just makes it more private. It's a whole other section. It, does. It, feels, it makes the space feel bigger. It makes it feel like you're in a different room. So when we're designing a space, we try to create different rooms so that it feels like you have your own little private setting. Yes. And it actually, believe it or not, bringing in all of this material makes the space feel bigger. Yes. If we were standing in the middle of this before we started, you'd be like, there's no way you're gonna do anything in this space. It's, it's so small. Right. But now it's like, 
it feels enormous. Absolutely. All right, so this is the uh, the kicker, right? So, so this it just... is the big like wow shot. Yeah. And what we've got here is, like you said, the back side of the mountain. So the, that ridge that I created to split the space served two purposes. It was to divide the space, but it was also to give me the backdrop to create this kind of a waterfall coming off this side of that mountain ridge per se. Right. So what we did was we built up a retaining wall on the side to contain that. We brought in these big, massive faux stones, and then we started plunking in our big natural moss um, weathered limestone that wow. we get from Missouri, which is just awesome stone. And and the way the falls comes down, the three or four different levels here, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And the lighting behind that. The lights are the best. Uh, so, what was the other gentleman, Brian, that helped you out? Brian Dolly from Fishman Services out of Alabama. I think he did a great job. Yeah, he's great dude. He's great. your right hand buddy. Yep. Uh, you guys did a great job together. And uh, by the way, a little feature here. Who did this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little help. Hey, yours truly. I said, hey, where can I help out? <laughs> he's a great wood stacker. <laughs> the only thing I think more impressive than this is your own personal property. <laughs> that one is a little over the top. want to leave a link in the description down below. If you guys want to see Chris's personal backyard, uh, it's incredible. Just a little teaser. What, what does that look like? It looks like a natural man-made lake in the backyard with a jumping cliff. Yeah. And about 350 plus some odd tons of boulders, some of which are about the size of Volkswagens. That's crazy. The whole backyard, for the most part, is an outdoor living space, pond, all this stuff. It looks like you're at a lake property. It's incredible. Uh, we'll leave a link into this video uh, down below. So if you guys want to go a little bit more down the rabbit hole and checking out some of the projects that Chris has done, absolutely, absolutely. beautiful. Well, guys, uh, this is going to be a quick wrap up here. Uh, Greg Whitstock is running around somewhere. I think he's getting uh, all the food ready because we're going to have a little party here. Everybody, That's the whole point. Everybody's Let's coming enjoy. here. It's going to be such a good time. And uh, we're just hopping in and out, uh, you know, showing you guys a little bit more of Aquascape. If you guys enjoyed the whole video, it took a long time to edit this. Uh, big thumbs up if you guys are part of the regular crew. And uh, if you guys want to learn more about Aquascape and Chris's business, we'll leave all those links in the description video down below. But hey, Chris, awesome, thank you, bud. Man. I appreciate it. Great job. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, over and out, we'll catch up with you guys here on the next one.